My name is Detective Sergeant Jan Munro. I have a brief statement to make before I re uh, take any questions. At this time, we're able to confirm the following details. A witness watched Dr. Tom Bland, curator of the archaeology wing in the Mustard Centre, fall to his death from an open walkway at or around 8.26pm on the evening of the 26th of February 2017. Pathology confirms that Dr. Bland suffered a blow to the head earlier in the evening. At this time, we are investigating the severity of his injuries and their role in Dr. Bland's fall from the walkway. During investigation of the area, blood and other DNA evidence was found on an artefact stored in the Mustard Centre vault. Forensics confirm that it is consistent with the trauma to the victim's skull and that the DNA found on the object matches that of Dr. Bland and Lady Malcolm. During the course of our investigation, several interviews were conducted. It was in the course of one such interview that Lady Malcolm admitted to an altercation between herself and Dr. Bland. I can at this time confirm the arrest of Lady Malcolm on, on suspicion of murder. I will now take questions from the floor. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Williams, Cambridge Echo. Was it true that Dr. Bland was having sex with students? Uh, at this time, the rumours of uh, his infidelity seem to be completely unfounded. Yes. Is it true that the student was arrested? Uh, I can confirm that a second suspect was arrested, but they were later released without charge due to lack of evidence. I can't confirm their identity. Uh, yes. Uh, then, uh, confirmed that it was a comedy journalist who was arrested. What's your reason for taking on the press? You know that I cannot release any information that may be operational to the case or pertinent to the trial. I can, however, confirm that the police do not arrest without good cause. Yes. Uh, I cannot release that information at this time. Hello. Uh, we have video evidence that suggests that he was drinking at the time of the event. The autopsy then confirmed this. Uh, I I can't be any more specific than that, unfortunately. Uh, yes, in the end. Uh, any suggestion of that seems to be completely unfounded. Uh, I can't release that information at this time, unfortunately. Any other questions? Okay, then I will be handing over to uh, an official from the University of East Anglia. Hello, my name is Astrid Neiber. I am the press officer for the University of East Anglia. Good morning. I'm very sorry to be addressing you under these circumstances. Firstly, the staff and administration of UEA would like to extend their sincerest condolences to the family of Dr. Thomas Bland. He was a beloved colleague and a gifted researcher. We will miss his keen observations and contributions to a field that he loved very much. While I can only imagine the grief that his mother, father and sister must be feeling right now, and I for one know that the Mustard Center will be a less cheerful place without him. I will be emailing out details for an informal gathering being held later in March for those who would like to share the personal memories of Tom. Given the possible involvement of Lady Malcone in Tom's death, Several members of staff have emphasized their discomfort in the continued presence of her archaeological contributions. At this time, I would like to reassure any concerned parties that while the exhibition sponsored by Lady Malcolm has been installed, the finalizing of her donation to the Mustard Center has been suspended until all investigations are over and all legal activity is over. The exhibition will also remain closed for the duration of the forthcoming trial, out of respect for Dr. Bland and his family. We are all shocked and saddened by the events of the week. Several counsellors have been made available for the campus as a whole, and anyone, student or staff, who feel they have been affected should stop by. 
UEA would also like to reiterate that this campus is a safe space and state our commitment to keep it so. Thank you. Incidences like these are very, very rare, and we do take them very, very seriously. We try our very hardest to ensure the safety of all of our students and staff whilst they are on campus. But occasionally, it is impossible to predict events of this nature. Let me ensure you, however, that everything is being done to prevent these uh, serious crimes. <clears throat> we are currently looking into how we may improve our already effective security around campus. Additionally, we are opening a campaign to take suggestions from students and staff who work on campus every day. Uh, details of this campaign will be made available after this conference. Thank you. Can you I cannot comment on that, sorry. Uh, I can just say that, uh, that we have uh, the relevant people with the relevant expertise looking into that and that, available, that information will be available by the time it comes to trial. Uh, are there any other questions? Uh, then thank you very much for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, that will now be concluding uh, this morning's press conference. Thank you very much.